obviously see that it was a willful retention of these documents, but it's interesting for me that when you talk about sympathetic, well-meaning uh, older man with poor, uh, elderly man with a poor memory, it seems like every you know, attorney would advise you to be sympathetic and be well-meaning, and it seems like the whole FBI needs to do, a, a, based on my hearings here, I need to do check on amnesia because everyone says doesn't recall. So it seems to me that it might have been something way more in his recollection than the typical I don't recall, because that's what ever seems like that's what I've learned it here. So is there even something more than that, that just I don't recall something for you to actually decide? Because it seems that this is the core of, of the whole investigation. Why didn't you pursue for, for the, the charges. Congresswoman, uh, my judgment um, as to how a jury would likely perceive and receive and consider evidence relating to, um, relating to all the evidence that would be put in both by both the government and the defense at trial, um, it was based on a number of different sources from documents, including various recordings, some of them from the 2016-2017 time frame, some from our interview with the president in October of 2023. I think what you're asking about specifically is how the president presented himself during his interview in October of last year. And of course, I did take into account not just the words from the cold record of the transcript, but the entire manner in, in living color in real time of how the president presented himself during his interview. Well, hopefully he didn't outsmart you and all of us. But uh, uh, before I yield, I just wanted to actually just comment on something, you know, Mr. Raskin mentioned about, you know, us not remem remembering communists. I actually grew up under communists, and I have a very good recollection what it is. And unfortunately, Tyrion's eye on the, on the rise, on the march, which he said, unfortunately, they've been emboldened by, you know, President Obama, now by President Biden, too. And unfortunately, our government and department of justice is really now resembles, you know, a tyrannical government. It's sad for me to see that, but I'm going in with a really... <laughs>